Hello friends, welcome back. My name is BK. In this video, you will learn how to create a regional sales analysis dashboard in Microsoft Power BI. As you are seeing my screen, we have created this beautiful analysis dashboard for the regional sales. On uh, this is the overview page, and here we are showing on the top the region, salesperson, product, country, customer segment, month name, and the year slicer. Using this slicer, you can filter your data. Then we are showing the different cards like total sales, total quantity sold, total profit, and this is the sales growth from the previous period. Okay, we have put here conditional formatting also to if it is negative, it will be in red. If it is positive, then it will be in green. Profit margin, sales per region, and target achievement in against the target achievement percentage, target versus actual. Okay, then here we have the total sales by region and customer segment we are showing in this 100% stack chart this is the total sales by product and this is the total sales by country on this map on the left hand side we have given the navigation pan and this is the overview page you can click on the trend analysis as you click it will take you to the trend analysis page this is the trend analysis page and we are showing here sales trend and the time based analysis First, we are showing the month on month total sales. Okay, you can change the year from here and for which year you want to see accordingly, you can select that automatically it will show the trend for that particular year. Okay, you can select let's say 2023, then it will show for the 2023. Then we are showing the total quantity sold by month and the customer segment on this chart. And here we are showing the year on year total sales and we are showing by region also in the same now i will show you the profitability page also in this page we are showing the profitability and the target achievement analysis on the top we have the same slicers like the other pages and we are showing here profit margin in this gauge chart then we are showing here sales target achievement percentage in this gauge and this is the target versus actual sales by region and here we have the target versus actual sales by the customer segment and this is a dynamic chart you can convert this chart with the salesperson also like just click on this button automatically this chart will be converted to the salesperson you can see the name of the salesperson and you can see the chart title also just click here on the product this chart is converted to the product wise total sales versus target okay now let me show you the customer analysis also this is the product and customer segment analysis okay and here on the top we have the same slicer this chart is showing the sales by product and the region analysis and this is the total sales by the customer segment you can see the numbers as well as the percentage here we are showing the sales by the product and the salesperson and let me go to the salesperson analysis also this is the salesperson analysis space and here we are showing the individual salesperson sales and the performance against the target so it is showing the multiple charts like here you can see we have the salesperson this one this one and we are showing the multiple charts here these charts are dynamic if you add more salesperson the chart will be created automatically here we are showing the sales growth by the salesperson. This growth is from the previous year. And if you change the year here, let's say 2024, then it will compare from 2023. Okay. So you can see where it is positive and where it is negative. Let's go to the detailed breakdown. This is the detailed table view, wherein you can see the whole data in our table form. From the top, you can just filter the data, whatever you want. Let's say I want to see the data only for a particular product, let's say product A. So it will show the information only for the product A, you can see, okay. And if you want to export this data into the Excel, you can just say the export data, you can download this data into a Excel. Now quickly, I will show you how we have created in Power BI desktop. So let me close this. This is the Power BI desktop view. Before I show this, I would like to show the data first. To create this dashboard, we have used this data, wherein we have the region. This data is available in the Excel file. We have here region, salesperson, product, sales date, then quantity sold, unit price, 
total sales, sales target, profit, customer segment, and the country. All right. Let me close this file. Now, in the background, we have created the design from a PowerPoint. So let me show you that PowerPoint also. We have this PowerPoint. We have created these design in the PowerPoint, the background design. We have created this using the multiple rectangles and some other shapes like you can see here. These are all shapes. Once we have created this, we have created a group and we have saved this group as a picture and we have saved the picture in the folder like this and this is a picture okay you can open this as a picture so here you can see it's a picture okay so let me close this now once you have the multiple pictures with you for each page you can create the pictures and then from the canvas just right click here go to the format canvas you can load the picture to the background like here we have loaded bg1 background one and then here you can use the fit okay then same picture will appear here now let me show you then how we have created on the top we have inserted our text box which you can insert from the insert and here we have the text box this one okay so this is the text box and you can put that here you can take the white font and you can change the font name font size as per your requirement then here we have taken the navigation pen this is the simple navigation pen and you can take this navigation pen from insert and you can go to the button and you can go to the navigator and then you can insert the page navigator okay after the inserting the page navigator you can just format this from this format and here we have taken the style for the default what we have done we just have changed the white font for all default and we have taken any fill any border okay then for the selected one we have taken this font color the darker font color okay or you can take black also as you want all right then we have created here slicer these are the normal slicer which you can create from the visuals these all are slicer so let me show you one slicer here this is the normal slicer this one okay you can create this and after that you can format this as you want like you can take the value so go to the slicer setting you can change the background and go to the values and in the values we have taken this font color and the background color we have taken this one okay so like this we have created this slicer and then we have created these cards these are the normal cards let me show you how we have created so here we have this card this is the normal card okay and once we have created then uh, from the call out value we just have put here the condition formatting for this one we just have put the condition formatting let me show you and this is simple condition formatting like if it is greater than zero then it will be green and if it is less than zero here you can see then it will be red all right then these are the simple charts like we have created this is the uh, bar chart and we have taken this bar which is the 100% stack bar chart and we have taken the region here and this is the total sale and in the legend we have taken the customer segment this is the map which you can take this map and here we are taking the country and the total sales we are taking in the bubble size this is a pie chart the normal pie chart this one and here we have taken the product and the total sales all right now on the second sheet we have loaded the new image as per the chart size and the charts which we are creating then here we are taking the normal line chart or the area chart this is the area chart this is what we are taking and we are taking the month name here total sales okay now for the month name i will show you the data also so let me go to the data view and here we are taking this is the data table same data which we have loaded and we have created a calendar table also and to create the calendar table we have used this formula the add column and the calendar function the start date and the end date we are taking from sale date available in the data table okay then accordingly we are creating the calendar once the calendar is created we have created a relationship between the calendar and the data table on the basis of date column so you can see that here okay this relationship normal relationship and then we have created some measures here you can see 
and we have created a separate uh, major calculations table and you can see this is the total sale which is but the simple sum of total sale this is total quantity sold the sum and total profit is also the sum sales achievement is divide function just total sale and the total target sum of target here we have the sales per region so we are taking the total sales divided by distinct count of the region okay and for the sales growth we are taking the current sale normal total sale and the previous sales is basically the same period last year sale okay and then we are dividing current sale minus previous sale divided by previous sale here we are using this profitability chart title we will show you later on when we will come to the profitability page the next page then we will show you and the profit margin is simple total profit divided by total sale all right so these we are using normal measures so here we are taking total sales by the month and month column we are taking from the calendar table year column also we are taking from the calendar table this is also simple the year wise total sales and we have put the region from the data in the legend you can see this here this one we are taking the normal chart this one is this 100% stack column chart we are taking here month name by axis total quantity and legend is segment and now to convert legend is customer segment now to convert in this form in this view we just have put here uh, ribbon is true this one so ribbon just on that if you off this one then this chart will look like this and if you on then this chart will be converted into this ribbon chart all right let me show you the profitability page also here we are showing the uh, the gauge chart so you can see this is the gauge chart this one we have taken and this is normal gauge we are using this profit margin sales target achievement from this measure we are using this one that's it here we are using the target versus actual sales so this is the normal chart which is the cluster column chart we are using region total sales and the sales target here also we are taking the chart category we will show you this chart category so here we are taking the total sales and target sales so what is this chart category we have added a field parameter from the modeling you can insert a new parameter and let's take a field parameter you can put the name of the field parameter we have put the chart category then from the data we have taken country we have taken the customer segment product and then we have taken here salesperson these three okay you can take more and then click on create as you click on create it will create a slicer so this is the slicer we just have changed the look of this slicer and we have taken the this slicer which is the tile slicer okay and it will automatically create as well as it will create a new table also here it has created this table also and in this table we have this information all right and the, it will create automatically you don't need to create this and once it is created so we have created this uh, profitability chart title to make the chart title dynamic we have used this target versus actual sales by and we have used here max chart category from the chart category table this new table is available all right so here what we are doing we are using this chart category this one this table this column we are using and rest is same now this is automatically connected with this one the only thing is we have to make the chart title dynamic to make the chart title dynamic we just go to the chart title in the format here and you can use this fx and you click here and you can select that new major which you have created chart title okay this one as you select this and you click on okay automatically it will take you take the dynamic chart title all right so that is how we have created this one now i'll show you the next page which is the customer analysis in the customer analysis we are showing some other charts like sales by product and region this is normal chart which is the 100% or this normal uh, stack column chart and we are taking region here total sales and the legion we are taking product again we have on the ribbon here this is the sales by product and sales person so we have the sales person here the product is in the legion and the total sales is on the x-axis this is normal donut chart which is the sales by customer segment so we have taken the normal donut chart and customer segment is here and total sales in value I will show you the salesperson analysis also here we have taken normal chart like we have taken here this is the reason wise this is the total sales and this is the 
normal region by is total sales and the sales target right then in the small multiple we have moved this sales person so it is showing the sales person by is region by sale and here this is the normal chart which is this one which is cluster column cluster bar and here we are showing the sales person by sales growth because sales growth is negative also somewhere so it is showing in red now in the detailed breakdown we are just showing the table view you can see this is the table and uh, we have taken this table view here and then for the few of the chart we are showing some chart element effect using the condition formatting like chart element you can see and let's say for sales sales target achievement we have taken this data bar so we have put this we have on this data bar here and you can change the color from this any color just take this one automatically it will show the colors same you can do this from here like total sales so we have on this okay so that is how we have created this dashboard in microsoft power bi friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching